Hi, I'm Mark Anthony of demolitionnews.com and today I'm going to attempt to design an excavator bucket in real time. I'm going to be using the new online configurator tool from Steelrist. So let's hop over to the tool and get started. Okay, so this is the configurator from Steelrist. As you can see the uh, at the top right hand side there, the system is already set for machine weights of 10 tonnes. You can actually take it back down to 5 tonnes or all the way up to 25 tonnes. As we're doing this for a demolition audience, let's do it at the full 25 tonnes. Hit the continue button and see where we go. Okay, the next screen allows us to select our interface. I think for the purposes of this exercise, we'll just select the no interface and hit continue. Now we have uh, four different bucket choices. We've got grading buckets, digging buckets, cable buckets and utility buckets. But let's go for a digging bucket and hit the continue button. Now as you can see before we get into actually customizing the bucket the tool does allow you to look at this in full 3D 360 degrees you can literally see it from every every conceivable angle. So that's our base bucket from which we from which we will be building. So let's take a look at the configuration um, let's go to um, total width let's take that right up to the maximum size let's take total length up to the maximum size and height up to the maximum size as well uh, as you can see we can adjust top length uh, cutting height cutting length cutting radius as well but I'll leave all that as it is if I select the bucket angle you can see that that changes in real time but let's keep that around about 20% horizontal angle um, you get exactly the same uh, effect there let's keep that back where it was roughly uh, vertical angle will be the same um, we've now got the opportunity to select um, some teeth for the bucket as you can see it doesn't actually have any at the moment so let's go for the maximum and as you can see here um, it's currently set to have four teeth but as uh, Luis Suarez would no doubt testify, you can never have too many teeth. So let's take it right up to the full five. As you can see, we've now got five and the bucket is looking very smart indeed. Uh, as you can see also down the bottom right hand corner there, that's the estimated price as it stands today. Let's hit the continue button. So this is where we really start to uh, make this bucket our own. Uh, unfortunately, it probably won't come in that that excellent green color but uh, let's take a look so we've got uh, steel types we can go normal performance or high performance I think we go high performance on, on this instance um, and we're also going to go heavy duty because obviously we're specking this for a demolition um, application now if I click the um, if I show you the underside of the bucket there um, and then I can add in um, the side plates and also the bottom wear plates as you can see they come through quite nicely as well and they are uh, reflected in the price and then we get to effectively the roundup um, so this is the bucket that we've selected it is a digging bucket no interface machine weight is uh, 25 tons all of the weights and uh, widths and heights are exactly as we specified and uh, we've gone high performance uh, abrasion resistant uh, steel um, heavy duty uh, everything is there as you would expect um, and we've got the uh, five teeth as well all that remains is for us to fill in our, our name address and uh, email address and we will receive a quote from um, steel wrist obviously I think at that point you will then get down into looking at uh, specifying this for a very specific application so there's a bit more discussion to be had but I think as a, as a working tool as a, as a basic tool I think that's really very 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 smart um, so congratulations on Steel Wrist thanks for bringing it to our attention uh, go and take a look yourself you can find this um, fine tool over at configurator.steelwrist.com and I will run that across the bottom of the screen uh, when I edit the video uh, go and have fun with it and let me know what you think thanks very much